Good morning everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. Today is an exciting day. Today we are getting started with painting the fence. Woo! I'm super excited about it. The girls are excited about it. They're coming out to help me today. Uh, it's the weekend. They have not started school yet. You guys will probably see this after they've already started school. I feel like this is going to be a multi-day slash multi-week project and I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna work while it's cool in the morning and then I'm gonna stop and then start again the next day or start again the next day. So I'm okay with it taking quite a while. So it is about 10 o'clock in the morning. I've already cleaned this area of the fence and by clean I just mean I took the jet setting on my hose and I cleaned it off. I did not power wash it because I don't feel like this fence needs it. It's not like it's peeling or chipping paint or anything like that um, you know I'm I'm not a professional painter I totally get it <laughs> I'm sure that there's a better more correct way to do it but um, I don't want to you know I don't feel like I need to go all out for this especially because this fence is old this fence needs to be replaced and um, I'm just kind of putting lipstick on a pig <laughs> just to make it nice before Jason and I have to invest in replacing the fence um, so like I said my girls are gonna help me out um, the color so last week I posted a video where I was trying to decide between four different paint samples. I will link it up above right here if you guys didn't get a chance to watch that. But I have to say thank you all so much who left a comment with your opinion. It helped me out so, so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. It was an overwhelming, and I'm talking overwhelming, vote for the slate color, the darkest color. Um, and that was my top choice too. So I just wanna thank you all so much. It just made me feel so much better to know that I was making the right decision because a black paint on your fence is kind of a big decision. So, but you all made me feel so good. And especially all of you who, um, told me that you had painted your fence the same color, a similar type of color. And a big thank you to Lindy. Uh, she's one of my subscribers and she lives very close. She lives in Woodland and she works for Sher Sherman Williams. Um, and so she was very helpful as well. Uh, so thank you all so much for helping me out. Time to get started. about 12 30 i am hot i am sweating and i am not going to show my face right now i will show my hand though it's quite wonderful <laughs> so this is what we got from day one the girls started in over there you can see their wonderful work they actually were super super helpful jason came out and helped me which was so nice it was kind of like a family thing we were all laughing and joking as we were doing this but you can see what we got done you guys how good does this look so this is the slate color everybody thank you thank you thank you for suggesting slate and then 
pushing me to do it and to feel comfortable with it because you are so right. Every single one of you were so correct. This looks so fantastic. Jason and I were just talking about how when we walk around the corner, it kind of just disappears into the background. Um, so I can't wait for it all to be done. We're going to keep working this way. I'll try and pan slowly and then keep working on the other side of the yard as well. I am being super, super careful over here and then over on this side of the yard as well. I'm sorry, I'm probably making you guys really dirt dizzy, um, but I don't want it to seep through the cracks. So you're gonna see the cracks are not gonna be painted and the top of the fence is not gonna be painted because I don't wanna get any of it over onto my neighbor's side. Now this over here, this is why I was letting my girls do this side because I am planning to paint the other side of our fence over there. I think it'll be really beautiful with the plumbago espalier. I think that that will be gorgeous. So yep, we've got day one done. We're gonna start earlier tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more done tomorrow. I will see you all day two. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We're on day two of painting the fence. We've got the whole family out here helping today, which is fantastic. And the temperature today is only gonna to get to about 90 degrees. So, so great, such a nice reprieve from the heat. And we're gonna try and get a ton of stuff done today, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's go. Good morning. Good morning, Hermione. Good morning. So we are about halfway through day two. You can see how far I've gotten today. I, we are making so much progress. I am so happy with how quick this is going. I don't know why, but I thought that this was gonna take a really, really long time. I am currently behind my limelight hydrangeas. I've been back here all morning. It's actually, it's not too bad once you get over the spider webs and the scratchy branches and all that kind of stuff. And you can see, uh, yeah, I'm not a clean painter at all, but progress being made, it's looking gorgeous.
All right, you guys, it is day, I don't know, four or five or a hundred. I'm not even sure. I'm a sweaty mess. I have paint all over. I have washed this shirt every single day. So if <laughs> you guys, you guys have seen me wear this, wear this shirt every single day. And it's simply because I have dubbed it my painting shirt, <laughs> but it has been washed because I am sweating far too much for it not to get washed every single evening. So it's not anywhere near done. We still have a ton of work to do, but I think it's enough to show you guys what it looks like. The lighting is perfect right now. It The hydrangeas are popping off the slate colored fence. So let me give you guys a little mini tour of my fence. All right, and here it is. Oh, I am just in love with it. Jason is in love with it. The girls are in love with it. We are so absolutely happy with it. It was the right color. Thank you to every single one of you who voted and who gave me your opinion. It was so, so helpful. And I have to say, I am so lucky that I have this platform because I basically have so many friends that can give me their opinions, which, you know, sometimes isn't a good thing, but sometimes it's a really great thing because you can kind of get stuck in your head. And when I was taking those paint swatches, I was a little nervous because I wasn't totally sure until there was the overwhelming response to sleet. And you guys were right. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Look at my limelight hydrangeas. I mean, they look gorgeous with the slate fence behind them. They look better than they've absolutely ever, ever looked. I am so happy with it. I feel like gardening is gonna be so much easier now be just because of the backdrop I have. I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then the purple, oh my goodness. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I am so happy with it. I'm totally happy with this color. Now we are gonna have to go through and we are gonna have to do probably another coat here and there, especially over here, which is where my wonderful children were painting and they did a fabulous job, but we might just have to come back and touch up just the teeniest bit. Um, <laughs> but all in all, I am so happy with it. And I cannot wait to get some color in this garden bed because I think the color is just going going to pop. I'm so excited about, especially purple. I really think the purple and the white and the green, that color scheme is just popping. So ugh, I just, it's just so pretty. So let's see, we started over here and then I worked my way this way because we share this fence with my neighbor and I worked really hard at not letting it drip over onto the opposite side. Same with the fence over there on the other side. I've actually already started over by my uh, honeysuckle espalier and I'm, you know, I'm going very slow and very methodical. And that is why I'm not using a paint sprayer. I know I could use a paint sprayer and it would go so much quicker, but I just wanted to be super careful for my neighbor's sake. And so so far, I think so good. I keep kind of going around and checking it. You know, there might be a couple drops here or there, but for the most part, it's I'm, it's doing really good. And I am not putting it on the very top of the fence. I'm leaving that blank. Um, so I think it would look better if you kind of look at an angle, you can kind of see the wood in between the slats, but I'm just gonna have to deal with that just, just simply because I share the fence. I share this fence with my neighbor. So it looks very good coming over here to our messy storage area at this point. <laughs> um, we kind of got to about here. I cannot move this berry barrel for the life of me, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, so I think that this is going to be an ongoing project over the next couple weeks. I didn't want to bore you all and do a thousand videos on the fence painting because how interesting <laughs> is that after one video? Um, but I did want to show you. I think it's gorgeous. I have to tell you a funny story. I have these this ballet slippers. So Summerific hibiscus and I walked by and I thought oh, something is eating it something is eating my hibiscus uh yeah I got paint drops all over it so I might be finding paint drops on my plants and <laughs> immediately think oh no something's eating it and they're just sleet paint drops <laughs> so it's hard to prevent splatters look at this isn't this gorgeous Oh, it's just so pretty. So if you all have any inclination to paint your fence, think about a dark color. I mean, when I first heard of it, a couple of you made comments, um, especially on the plum, 
plumbago, the oak tree garden bed fence over here, um, you all said, oh, paint that fence. You know, there was a couple of you that encouraged me to do it. And like I said, when my first response was black fence, what? No way. Oh my goodness. It looks so amazingly wonderful. I feel like it's just elevated my garden to no end. So tomorrow morning, I am going to film a backyard garden tour. Stay tuned for that. You'll be able to see it in the morning light. This is evening. The sun actually already went down, um, but the hydrangeas just look so pretty. I just had to show you all. One, one last look. Oh, love it. Love it. So again, thank you all so much for your support for this project and really for all my projects. You all are so wonderful. You all are the reason why I continue doing these YouTube videos because I just love having this gardening community. I just think it's so fantastic and I'm having the time of my life. So thank you for your support on this. I'm so happy with it. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.